Hello everyone. Welcome to QA Coding Expertise channel. This is Nagarajan. In today's technical session, we're going to have a very good learning. Before we get into the actual session, I would like to share my automation experience on running a test suit across different browsers and devices. Frankly speaking, it's a big overhead for us to run and execute our automation test scripts on various devices, iPhone, iPad, Android. And it's even very worst when it goes with browsers. Sometimes the test script works correctly on Chrome browser and sometimes it fails on different browsers. I mean Firefox, Safari, etc. One more challenging is operating system. Sometimes the test runs fine on Windows, at times it fails on Mac as well. And the very biggest challenge is to execute the test scripts on different browsers and devices. For that, automation engineer needs to find the right machines, devices to set up the environment and proceed with execution. So to overcome all these problems, the browser stack provides a cloud testing environment through which we can run our test scripts, I mean automation test scripts across different browsers, devices, as well as OS. At an organization level for project deliveries and all, we are supposed to go for the browser stack paid version. That's obvious. No one works for free, right? So if you are in a desperate need, you can talk to a company about the browser stack option and opt in for the paid version. But for practical purpose, you can create a new account here and get started. Simply, you can sign up using Google. After the sign up process, you will have instant access to real devices, 30 minutes each of interactive browser and mobile app testing, 100 minutes of automated browser testing, 100 minutes of automated mobile app testing, 500 screenshots per month for visual testing with Percy, and testing on internal development environments. All these features are available for a free trail user. This is the browser stack dashboard. Each device is available for up to one minute during free trial. You can have the access over Safari, Firefox, Chrome, Opera, and Internet Explorer for a minute. That is available for a free trial user. In the top right corner, you could see a profile icon, right? So go here, just mouse over on it. You'll see the different uh, options here. Click on summary. You'll be taken to the profile page where you'll be seeing the username and access key. Just make a note of these values. We are going to form a URL. Based on the URL only, we are going to run the test remotely. For now, you don't need to worry at all. Just make a note and discuss them later. Let's get into coding part right now. I've created a cell name of script. Let's have a code walkthrough now. I'll make you understand better. After watching this video, you should be able to play around with cross browser testing or cross device testing with the help of a automation test script. Here is a class I've created, browser stack cloud test. These are all the private variables for a web driver, file object, file input stream, properties, URL, mutable capabilities, and a Nash map. Don't worry, we'll try to understand slowly why these variables are being created, how they are going to help us. I've created two different methods, load property file, set browser stack options. Let's not deep dive into them right now. I'll scroll down a bit. Here is the add before test annotation. It's a test engine annotation that takes a parameter browser device file. This value comes basically from a testng.xml file. I mean this file. Okay, we'll talk about this file before the test to trigger. Let me move back. I've created a method uh, setup config. So this parameter value is being passed over here, right? And inside this method, we have calling a different method, set browser stack options that takes up the browser device well parameter. And we have the URL here. Actually, we are trying to form a URL with the help of the username, access key, and a hub URL. These values are being fetched from a property file. And we are creating an instance of a remote web driver that helps to invoke the URL on browser stack. Basically, the remote web driver execute test scripts on a remote machine. That's it. I hope this is very clear so far. Capabilities plays a vital role here. Capabilities are nothing but a series of key value pairs that allows to configure the test. Let's get into set browser stack options method. And this method takes the parameter uh, bro string browser device val. Well. Okay, and we are creating an object for a capabilities that is mutable capabilities. This merges two capabilities and returns a single instance. 
here we have the hash map browser stack options i've written if condition browser device well equals chrome if this condition satisfies we are just calling up a load property file method so based on the config value whether it's a chrome config or mobile config it's going to point the corresponding config file so let me show you the load property file as well so this takes a parameter file name okay we are creating a file object right and the path is being defined over here i mean src test resources here so here i've created two different property files with chrome config properties okay and uh, mobile config properties these are the two property files okay so based on the config as i said earlier this being passed over here right and see this is referring the file path src test resources and we are creating a file input stream object okay and the file object is being passed over here we are loading up the property files that's it this is the job of this particular uh, load property file method okay this is done okay so this loads up the file and after that we are just setting up the properties using capabilities see capabilities are set capability of browser name prop dot get property of browser name so if it's a chrome value right then this property is being called out here and we have different values here username access key hub url i hope you remember we talked about these values username and access key initially these values are being fetched from the browser stack and this is how we pass the hub url and we pass uh, browser name browser version os os version built name session name local surname version when it goes with the uh, mobile properties some values will get changed device name iphone 11 is real mobile true os version test name build name build number once these conditions are done we are finally setting up the property using set capability see as i said earlier mutable capabilities merges two different capabilities and returns a single instance here if you could see capabilities are set capability of browser name and browser version this comes from a direct property file value correct so but when you see here browser stack options start put so this is an hash map using hash map we are trying to enter the key value pairs okay os property prop dot create property of os likewise os version build name everything okay in the end if you could see capabilities are set capability of b stack colon options browser stack options so the entire hash map value is being passed over here okay so this is how we set the complete property so that's about that Let's move on to a test annotation. Here I've created a method invoke URL that is going to invoke the automationpractice.com index page. Here we have at after method. Here we have a method uh, print test status that takes up the parameter I test result. We have written a if condition. If result.case status gets a success status, then we are assigning the status value as passed. If it is skipped, then we are assigning it as error on the else condition we are assigning the status as failed basically we are using a javascript executor that sets up the browser stack executor value as status based on this condition it is setting up the value that's it the end we have a tap to test we are just scooting the browser now it's time to trigger the test execution okay before that let's talk about testng.xml file as well okay here is the suit name browser stack test suit okay this takes uh, thread count as two and parallel equal to test we are going to trigger this two different tests parallelly that is why we have written parallel equal to test this is the test name chrome test and that takes up the parameter browser device val value equal to chrome okay and here inside the classes we have we are calling up the java class browser stack cloud test and we have different test name as well for mobile test okay here also we are passing the parameter if we could keenly watch here the class name would be similar i mean the java class name 
see browser start cloud test and here also browser start cloud test okay only the difference is the parameter name based on the parameter it is going to trigger the test on chrome browser or mobile that's going to happen on browser stack not here i mean not on a local machine it is going to trigger execution on a remote machine okay now it's time to trigger the test execution so basically you have to trigger the test execution from testng.xml since it is passing a parameter right so this particular uh, browser stack cloud test.java that expects a parameter at before test we are passing an add parameter so if you are triggering from here definitely it's going to throw an error i'll show you see the this is expecting a parameter parameter browser device val is required by a before test on method setup config okay so we'll have to trigger the test execution from testng.xml file let me trigger the test execution now look at here the tests are being triggered parallelly the mobile test is running here as well as the chrome test okay let's wait let it complete i think uh, mobile test execution is done it is showing passed okay now it is uh, yeah both the tests are being passed here okay here you could see the device in the right side right a device which device it, it has ran and the test results session ids os duration everything will be displayed over here and in the end right you have the video as well this is the very good thing okay you can download the videos as well and you can also see the execution of it okay let me run it okay see it is trying to open automationpractice.com website let's wait okay now it has opened up the page right so when i move on to see chrome as well you could see the execution let me run it see it is uh, running the test on chrome browser that is particularly on windows os you can also download this file video file this is for the mobile one see and this is for the chrome excellent right so we are running the test on a remote machine using browser stack so if the company is asking us to work with uh, different devices or different browsers or different os probably you can talk to a company and get this uh, browser stack and you can start working on it okay let me close it so that's about that i wanted to talk about two important things okay i'll show you now when you mouse over here right in the references you could able to see the selenium capabilities and the browser devices let me click on it uh, browser devices okay where you'll be seeing different set of uh, browsers and devices which are provided by browser stack under samsung you have different set of uh, devices under google you have different set of devices right likewise you have different uh, when i move on to the selenium capabilities right where you'll be seeing the different set of capabilities here so based on the operating system device and the version right you'll be getting this uh, capabilities so whatever capabilities that we discussed on the code right so see let me change it and show you see when i choose android okay here when i pick uh, something galaxy note 10 any version so here you could see the capabilities so whatever we have written inside the browser stack cloud test you can copy this code the entire code okay and you can paste it to over here this part i'm saying you don't need to write anything okay you can directly copy that value from there browser stack okay and see what you can do just copy paste the code here okay remove this okay so this is how i did okay remove all this thing okay this takes uh, all this thing as well okay and for the browser name chrome okay you can uh, pass the values here 
something like this okay correct all the values okay this browser name equal to something something like this okay and let me remove all other things okay and here you can copy paste code the entire code see let me remove this thing that's it so whatever browser whatever OS, whatever device that you are willing to run you can get the capabilities from the browser stack and you can enjoy working on it that's it i think we have come to the end of the session I hope you had enjoyed the session. If you have any doubts or queries, you can directly put your comments on the video. Let me have a look at it. Okay. All the very best. Thanks for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.